I'm Tavleen Kaur and you're watching me on Build Guru Funnels. Well, we just released Arrow Checkout version 1.9. It's a very exciting time for us. So I just finished writing this blog post which covers all the highlights of the release. Uh, but I also wanted to do a video to show you uh, everything in action because obviously in a blog post I can only show you using uh, GIFs and, and uh, screenshots. But I really cannot show you things in action and how they really work. So that's what is uh, lined up for this video. Uh, do stay tuned. If you're an Arrow user, well, uh, after you are done watching this video, go ahead and update yourself to the latest version of Arrow Checkout uh, 1.9. And if you're not an Arrow user, then why aren't you an Arrow user? Well, there is something very exciting for a, a known Arrow user as well in uh, this video. So I'm going to show you when you install Arrow for the very first time, uh, what is going to happen and what the new onboard wizard is all about so uh, stay tuned that's what this video is all about let's dive in right away all right so the highlight of this release is the checkout fields preview feature now earlier what would happen is that in the case of a multi-step form when a person filled out his details on the first step and then moved on to the next step there is no way or for him to check uh, what he filled out uh, in the previous step and if there was an error of course uh, he could only do that when he actually clicked on the back button and voluntarily moved uh, back to the previous step so what you can now do is that you can allow people to uh, to check the information that they filled out on the previous step and actually this is a very pro conversion feature so let me show this to you in action so here i filled out uh, the information and this is my very first step it's the basic information and uh, when i click over uh, and move over to the next step so when i click on the next step here's how i can see all the information that i filled out and of course if i want i can click on change and i will be redirected to the previous step and i can change this information so it's actually a very pro conversion feature like i said primarily because allowing people to check uh, the uh, the information that they filled out for errors is a great way of moving them forward also you'll notice one thing when you move uh, from one step to the next the transition has been made really smooth so this is another ux improvement that is introduced in the version 1.9 of arrow checkout that the transition between uh, various steps has been made really smooth it's easy on the eye and looks pretty classy You'll notice that the checkout fields preview feature is not a very uncommon feature. Some of the top notch stores are actually doing it. It's a take a look at that. Here's my information filled out. And of course, I can go back and change it. And then I am on uh, this step where I can fill out my remaining details. All right. So let's look at how to activate this feature from the back end. When you hit the settings tab here, you will find this fields preview option, which has now been added. Uh, it will only appear when you're updated to the version 1.9. And then you can check the fields here to generate the preview on the next steps. So like in this case, we have activated email, first name, last name, and ship address you can also write a heading or um, and a subheading but that's completely optional so all right, so the next feature is actually, uh, again, a very requested feature. Our users wanted to be able to go beyond uh, the widgets available in Arrow Checkout and uh, sort of, uh, you know, do some more customizations and have a greater control over their checkout pages, which is why we've now introduced three HTML widgets. So this is sidebar widget one and this is two. And then you've got a widget below the form. So it's for the main content area here. You've got this HTML box available you can add media write some text give it a border have some border width here uh, you know a colored or a non-colored border so on and so forth so you've got all these options available here then when you go into the widget visibility section you can actually drag and drop these and change uh, their position uh, you can actually move it up right here so uh, all of that uh, it can be done now now of course this gives you a great amount of control and flexibility uh, over your checkout pages the next set of updates are actually in the form section right here so we've added the order total field. It's a drag and drop field. You can simply drag it from here and drop it right here. Now it's uh, just a one line um, order total. Let me show you how it appears. So that's how it appears when you want to just show the order total. Uh, then we've uh, rolled out a host of integrations with other really useful WooCommerce plugins. 
the entire list will be uh, available in the description box so you can check it out in, in, uh, on the blog post or the documentation link that I will drop in the description box. Uh, but let me show you some of the major integrations that we've now rolled out. So this one is a checkout add-on. So this is actually our compatibility with the WooCommerce checkout add-ons uh, plugin. And uh, what this allows you to do is, is that it allows you to show show people, show, show your users uh, some add-ons that they can add to their order. Let, let's take a look. All right, so that's what it is. This is the checkout add-on. And uh, when they just simply tick this checkbox, uh, of course, the gift wrapping facility will be available and additional $3 will be added to their order. Right now, uh, you have to make sure that uh, the checkout add on plugin, which is actually developed by Skyverge, is activated in your store and then um, arrow checkout is going to detect it automatically and uh, the new widget, uh, the new field, sorry, will be available to you right here. You will be able to see it. Let me show you another uh, integration that we've rolled out, rolled out with a very useful plugin. So let's just uh, remove this for a bit. And uh, this is Constant Contact and also uh, WooCommerce Active Campaign. Uh, if you have that plugin activated, you will also see the Active Campaign feed here. So this is again developed by Skyward. It's Constant Contact for, for, for actually, uh, you know, letting people uh, sort of opt in uh, and uh, uh, opt in to receive your promotional emails. All right, so here you go. So this is uh, the constant contact uh, subscribe uh, box. So it says, let's stay in touch via email. We'll send you deals and promo codes too. And one can simply check this box and they will be added to your email list. And then, then of course, you can send them uh, remarketing emails. Uh, the next one is AW birthday, which is actually for collecting their birthday details. So it is an automate woo birthday add-on. Yep, so there you go. So one can just enter their details, uh, so uh, you know their birthday, and of course uh, they will be able to receive offers on their birthday, uh, and that's by using Automate Woo. All right, so that was it for this video, but I would encourage you to go ahead and read the blog post where I share everything in more detail, and I will drop the link in the description box below. Uh, there, of course, uh, you know there are more performance upgrades, uh, there are new feature rollouts, and uh, the new integrations. There's so many things that uh, you you need to know about as an Arrow user. So do upgrade yourself to the latest version, which is 1.9. Now, uh, if you're not an Arrow user, well, I've got a good piece of news for you, which is that um, when you install Arrow for the very first time. So on fresh installation, uh, you will find that there are a bunch of pre-made custom checkout templates and you can make a basic few edits and just run with it. Well, this makes the whole process of going live with Arrow Checkout really fast. You can literally roll out your first uh, Arrow Checkout page in mere minutes. Uh, setting up a page in Arrow Checkout has always been easy, but with the new rollout, it becomes even easier. So uh, there are um, you know, there are about five or six pre-made customized um, checkout templates, and they're also highly optimized for conversions. So uh, that's that. Now just go ahead and read the blog post, update yourself, and of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. I will be more than happy to uh, take them up for you. Do hit subscribe and um, well, just simply so that you can get more content like this and you do not miss an update.